go. All right. Hello, and welcome back for another night at the Nazar Round Table. Um, we are back for some D&D fun. Uh, if you are not following and you're watching right now, make sure you start following so you get put in the giveaway once you reach 100 followers. I think we're only like 20 or so away, so keep that going. And then whoever wins the giveaway gets the most recent D&D book, which I believe right now is Spelljammer. Uh, so go ahead and do that. If you're subscribing at that point, you will get a custom mini from Hero Forge. Uh, also, make sure you check out our YouTube. There are VODs all the way up to, I believe, episode 92. I think this one's 96. There's also some other D&D and RPG stuff on there that you can look at. So, without further ado, though, we will jump right into this. Last we had left off, you guys returned from Phlegathos, being the fourth layer of hell, after closing the beacon in a battle that you had with a lava dragon, essentially, um, Rhaegon where you lost one of your fellow party members, Skip. Uh, you brought him back to Tenebeth, the holy city within Zaxria, uh, and had a ceremony for him, and then knowing that you really didn't have much time, or don't have much time, uh, decided to go on to your next adventure. Uh, you heard some rumors and word uh, that you know to be true, that there was a attack on Venore, um, essentially pouring in through that very portal that you closed. Had you not closed it, uh, there's really no telling what would be left of Venore. And it really, uh, from what you have seen so far, towards the edge of this kind of chaos that's ensuing right now, um, you're just kind of stumbling onto a small portion of what is going on exactly. Looking around you right now, there are bodies splayed out, um, hard to tell which of them are living and which are not. There are elven individuals just running around yelling. There are a couple of people you can see. Um, so these minis that are painted, this one, that one there, and the third one over there are elven uh, guards. They have the kind of green leather armor on um, with the kind of feathers on the shoulders. Um, brownish kind of leather as well. It's kind of like a greenish brown leather ensemble um, But those three are actual guards that are fighting and trying to fend back these demons that are pretty much just chasing down these people um, Over Here uh, This oh, this actually because this is more appropriate over there. Uh, Here this is Silamir the individuals who you met the very first time you were here, um, who was thrown from the kind of deer mount that he was riding. These are the demons that kind of turned and started to face you guys. Uh, and you can see over in that back corner that they are actively trying to just, it seems like they had no other mission than to just kind of wreak havoc and, you know, slaughter people. So for you guys, at this moment, these demons, the kind of red chitinous kind of hide that they have, the gnarled black horns, you can see these long, black, jagged uh, steel kind of blades that they carry, their long claws, very long tongues that are kind of slithering out. You can see blood dripping from their hands. Some of them have wounds, but they still just seem to be on this like bloodlust kind of mission. Um, they don't really seem to have much emotion or agenda other than to just kill what's in front of them. And with that, you guys roll initiative for me. You want to zoom in on that a little bit? Uh, yeah. Find the remote somewhere. No shot, you see what that's it. What the hell? You get a 24 dude? You get a 24 over there, or are you like a. <laughs> We really rolled that if he's looking on initiative. <laughs> Never looked on initiative. I can't seem to find me. I'm going first. Bet. I don't know where the. You just say bet? Mm -hmm. I'm close to it. Though you could have rolled a net 20 and you Does can't catch it. I see a remote True. by there. Little, little tiny one. Little black one. What are you looking for? It's a little black remote for the camera. 
underneath there? No? Nothing? Not a, not a thing? That's okay. Okay. Well, so I gotta get up there. If it just randomly pops up, I'll just zoom it in. But. A lot nice in there, man. Huh. This bag, dude? I I'll use that. moving it. Alright, beside the point. That's okay. Uh, anybody. We just got 25 to 20, or 25 we just got above 25. Uh, 20 plus. 21. 21. 24. 24. Oh, I should probably roll for. 24. Okay, let's say 24. Mm -hmm. Hey, I was going first, Matt. What's your, what's your dice? 20. Uh, 22, baby. <laughs> Ander, Ezrael, Trelonia. Yeah, you hear how you listed them there? I'm just saying. <laughs> 2015. Uh, Connor and Muldrak both at 19. This deck is higher yours. Right. Not by much. You rolled the same thing for both the characters you're playing? Yeah, I rolled a 16 on for me and a 17 for Muldrak. Suspicious. That's 13. I was trying to see if you would believe me that I rolled super high. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I can roll a 23 if I get a natural 20. You get a 26. Well, no, right. Not yeah. flexing or anything, mm -hmm. but just better. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to play a meteor sign. Alrighty. I'll go first. So, and probably just kill you in one trip. What's up? Can't kill me So, one trip. I think I could. I can't. <laughs> I get close. Huh? I get close. <coughs> that hit me. The blood demons that you can Helmet. see here. Um, it's <laughs> so for the purposes of the combat here, uh, if you try to make any sort of perception check, it would be at like disadvantage. Um, and then based on just the situation and where you're sitting, you may have disadvantage with ranged attacks or being able to see stuff. Just oh, because the smoke is very dense. Um, it's also dense, but it's kind of like sifting around. There's a good breeze that's kind of flowing through that is causing uh, a little bit of visibility here and there. But for the most part, uh, it is it is difficult to see. So, um, put that camera. You adjust the cable? No, it's just the camera. I'm trying to adjust the cable. No, Pet it. Bad. Pet the camera. He's, he's upset. <laughs> God, here I will. Not many people get dizzy from watching the camera and get spun around. Yeah. Here, okay. let me take this off. Um, but... Is that a camera or a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> I've made you guys play D&D for four That's years to blow camera, you up with so a camera, Bob. It's a fan on the inside of the camera. Isn't Boom. this the second time it's done it? Yeah, it's done this before. Yeah, and, uh, okay. Just don't plug it. Because we're not going to use it. We're not going to use it? No. Because I don't want... Because that ticking sound, I'm pretty sure you can hear it on the stream. So I'll just leave it. All right. So, uh, for you guys. What? Why are you looking at me like that? What'd you do? Keep moving. You all right? What? Oh, jeez. Okay. What about it? We're not doing anything about it. <laughs> okay, anyways. You guys standing around, looking. You can see um, the oh. demons out in front of you. Ander and Ezrael, both of you go to, like... You're pretty much on the back of the, the deer right now. I think everybody is on the back of one, correct? Um... You instinctually just try to like jolt forward and draw your weapons, but you before you even realize it, there's this just kind of like <laughs> growling noise, and right on top of you, all of them start to charge up. Uh, this one just turns here. This one will run up to there. To here. I don't know if I To here. And then these guys just move in more up. They're attacking them. Okay, so. The first one kind of does like this 
holding the blade up and then like one hand like pulling on the ground like running at you, Zar, and then like lunges itself off the ground and jabs forward uh, towards your chest with the blade. So it's going to take some attacks here against you. Um, it's got a total of three. One of them is a natural one. Here. Okay, the damage gets too intense. The <laughs> other two... <laughs> <laughs> the other two are both 27s to hit. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna take... 22 points of slashing damage from both of those. And you're not raging currently, so nope. that is straight damage jumps forward and jabs the blade upward and it's like the smoke is moving around and you're just trying to like look through it and you just see this demon jumping up and at this point he is stabbed forward into like up into your shoulder and not really like dug the blade into it it's more just kind of has this gash in the top part of your shoulder and then the second attack he takes he goes to slice down and you actually reach your hand up and catch the blade but it slices into your hand as he like draws back and blood starts dripping from it he kind of fumbles and kind of tumbles down from the side of the deer after jumping up and then like picks himself back up to look up at you, um, trying to make the third attack but missing. The other one jumps forward and kind of like digs its claws into the neck of the deer, causing it to like rear back and make this just god awful screech. And as it's doing that, he's just reaching up and stabbing the blade upward at you. The first two, natural one. A. 27 and a natural 20. Mm -hmm. So for the. Oh, okay. Glad that wasn't the crit. Uh, 7 for the normal hit there. And then 12. So 19 total. Okay. And then uh, this one here uh, on Mole Track. Mm-hmm. Three attacks, a natural 20, a natural 1, and a 15. Okay. The natural 20 doesn't actually crit, though. It just does normal damage because he's got that armor. Mm-hmm. Uh, so seven points of slashing damage. All right. As they start charging forward, or that one specifically, um, doesn't quite jump up onto the deer, just kind of like runs by and does a slice across uh, Muldrak's left leg a little bit, and before it can even like slice up to actually attack him again, he just takes the shield down and smacks the blade out of the way. All right, uh, and then you can just kind of see very vaguely in the distance and hear uh, screaming and kind of blades and steel clinging together. Uh, you can see this one a little bit more than anything. Uh, and then Silomir here is stuck beneath the deer that was just kind of like uh, slit from the throat and the blood kind of spewing out and it landed on top of him. So he's just trying to like free himself from that. Um, can't really see much of what's going on back there. And then after that, Ander, you are up. Hmm. I'll probably just hit the guy in front of me. Okay. Cheating already? I have two aces. Okay. One of them automatically hits. And then. That's like sharpshooting. I didn't start. I didn't attack yet, Jerry, okay? I didn't, I didn't attack yet. It <laughs> doesn't work like that. Uh, and the other one does. Keep what the. Wait, this bitch is. Oh, it's 3d8 extra damage. It's kind of broken. <laughs> I'm kind of cheating. Okay. I'm just going to see if it's the one that automatically hits crit. They're all sharpshooter. It didn't crit. The other two normal attacks. Resistance to fiends still from the sleep. That yet? Got natural one. Oh, slept in that too. So just half one of our game. Mm -hmm.
Lowest one's a 13. 13 misses. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, the other one's an 18. 18 misses. Is that misses? This one's not Charger Dare. Okay. Because this is the one that does 3d8 of hits, <laughs> and I'm not missing this fucking thing. Uh, 28 to hit. Yes. And the last one's Charger Dare. Shut up, Charger Dare. am I supposed to know, Jerry? <laughs> am I supposed to know beforehand that it's gonna hit? <laughs> <laughs> the other one was a 17. Alright, so. Only yeah. one hit. I thought two, because one automatically hit. You're right. At least one of us is paying attention. Sharpshooter, right? One of them was sharpshooter. The one that automatically hits? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Why does it feel like there's just less dice than I roll normally? Hang on. Could you, Could you miss, miss like five or four attacks? No, I'm missing dice, guys. <laughs> um, Azrael, you are on deck. Shalonia, you are after that. Whoa. I was just putting them together and forgot I had to do math. <laughs> There's a six and a nine. What do you think? It's like I got a 420. <laughs> Three attacks. This game sucks, man. I quit already. Sixty-seven. Yep. He's dead, right? You know, like they don't have that much HP. You did like a tenth of his health. His health, not the other guys. <laughs> Each of them are just three K HP. Very quickly, you watch it kind of sprint up, you can hear it slice and kind of, then you start to hear the clanking of the blade against Muldrak's shield. And once you actually start to realize what's going on, it's not that you just like full on miss all the other ones, it's that you just react slow and like too slowly to where you only have time to throw the two cards well, out. Well, I'd rather miss all of them. <laughs> One of them just slams directly into like the upper shoulder area. And you can see the way that it's just kind of on Muldrak and focusing, trying to hit him, that the damage is being dealt but it's just not reacting as much to it it's kind of just like hitting into the side blood is splashing off um, but it still seems to be pretty focused on Moltrak immediately in front of him um, anything else you want to do do you want to move or are you staying on the back of the deer I'll get off the deer and move to my my right other way oh Anders right yeah how far? As far as you can? Yeah. 10, 15. You gotta use some movement to dismount from it. That sucks. I think it's only 5 feet of movement though, so you can do that with... There you go. 20 feet right there. Okay. Um, Azrael, you are up. So, uh, bonus action. He's, uh... Uh, as he seemed to be, like, grip the demon's bane as he was charging up at him. So you need to transform it into the, the that bladed weapon. Okay. Um, he's gonna make two attacks, just gonna, like come up with the butt end and then like swing back down with the top end. Twenty-seven. Hits. Uh, I think extra bonuses right now. Different than yes, the, rest. the radiant, I do. Okay. Um, 
don't think it does extra radiant. So that's that. So six radiant, and then uh, nine out of damage. Okay. Another second one. So that's 27 again. It's six radiant and uh, seven non radiant. Alright, so you see um, Ezrael pulling Demon's Bait, it goes from the kind of marble handle to this long blade with a, a, like a double-sided blade, two on each end. Takes the first swing down and then the second up. The first swing that you take down, the blue kind of light, like bluish-white energy, uh, divine energy coming from the blade itself that slices down. You can see it almost cauterizes into the shoulder and the, the demon kind of like retracts from it and winces and makes a grunting noise as it falls back. And then as it turns and reveals its other shoulder, you just kind of like do a slice to each side. So it has two wounds going up that aren't like bleeding heavily. There's blood dripping from them, but it seems to have some sort of like cauterization to it where you can see it's hurting them much more than the other damages as you seen before with them. Um, Does the deer have an attack? Uh, no. The deer right now seem to be frightened. <laughs> the they fuck, not, deer? They throw, do not throw seem hands. to be in the combat mood. They seem to be ready to run. Just at a quick glance. What? Um, okay, well, I'm gonna hop off mine and then I'm gonna like, do the slice and push them back with like both hands on it and then slide off. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's action, bonus action. Okay. Uh, Chelonia, you are up. Alright, I'm going to... Um, does that give me advantage? Does that give both of us advantage? Because mm -hmm. we're... Game, uh, the first three. Season. For medium size. Oh, you heard my movement wrong. I said I wanted to get around to... <laughs> 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 um, Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to do... Uh, for my four punches. Here. Okay. All right. So net one for the first one, and then my extra. So twenty-one and twenty-four. Both hit. Okay. Twenty-one again. All the hit that. Once you get around and kind of um, jump off of the, the deer and make your way around to the side of the demon, you can see that it has one claw, like, similar to how the other one was, and Azrael has one claw inside of the deer and is trying to slice up at uh, Moldrak. You just kind of run up behind and just start hitting a bunch of pressure points on its back. You can see it for a moment kind of tense up before it relaxes and turns its head over to you. You can see the teeth, there's blood dripping from it, the jaws kind of distended, it almost looks bug-like. You can see the large kind of uh, form of the head in the back. Um, very scary looking creatures. All right. Um, so you're good. The guards, this one turns to attack him. You can't see what the other ones are doing. Um, you can't see what he's doing, dude. Come on. Or you grab that off the board, dude. You should have headed away under the thing, at least. Oh, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> Why is there only one demon left? <laughs> I'll put more up there. <laughs> uh, your head kind of like snaps back really quick, Trelonia, because you hear this uh, kind of screech come from behind you. It's just kind of like this almost like rattling screech, like it growls and screams at the same time. Um, <clears throat> you turn back and can see the guard has a blade kind of stabbed into the side of the demon and pulls it out. Uh, Demon's still fighting back very strong, but seemed to have hurt him pretty good. Um, after Trillian, after the guards, Connor, you're up, and then Moldrak. Right. Sorry, you're after that. Um, just gonna hop off the deer. Alright. To the left or right? It doesn't matter. Okay. 
as long as I'm not in that smoke cloud. Got it. To the right. Um, fire that's creating the smoke cloud. Um, and he's gonna point his staff towards uh, Zar, and okay. he's gonna cast haste on. Alright. Poor demon. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta test out the new axe somehow. <laughs> Um, How does your haste like take effect? Like, what does it look like for you? Is it the the stars that kind of go forward? How would you describe it? So, um, yeah. So it, it would change depending on like what what like uh, state I'm in. Mm -hmm. But right now it's uh, just it's in stars. So you'd see like these um, stars fly out towards Zar kind of go around like his main joints, mm -hmm. just that when he swings it makes it go a bit faster. You definitely feel the similar effect that you have felt before. I'm willing. <laughs> I'm willing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anything else? Um, Do you want to move further away or are you good where you are? No, he's good where he's at. Okay. And you said this is like all covered in smoke. It's, right? it's very dense smoke. Um, so like what you can see right now on the map is like the last glimpse of what you would have had of it before the kind of dense smoke kind of rolled in. You can see most of it is like kind of rolling this way and then dissipating outward the further it gets away. But where it is here, it's, it's dense enough to where you can't see very well. You catch glimpses and movements of figures, but you can't see clear enough to really discern what's going on. Good for Connor? Mm -hmm. Moldrak is up. Alright. Moldrak is going to... You go yet? Nope. <laughs> I should roll like dog shit after Moldrak. I always roll like dog shit. Good point. Everybody Very else has like a plus yeah. seven to ed initiative. Plus six. <laughs> okay, same thing. Plus three. Here it is. Um, Moldrak's going to uh, grip his hammer pretty tightly. Uh, I'm guessing if he's not already, he'd get off the, the uh, deer. Okay. Uh, and then uh, he's kind of going to swing it through the, uh, through the ground, and he's going to pick up a bunch of like dirt and rocks, and he's okay. going to cast his rock bite enhancement. Got it. And then, how many attacks does he get? Four? Three? I don't know how many attacks this guy gets. I do not remember. Like 15 or I think he's got it marked. 30. I think he might be at 3. Advantage. Oh wait, you get a 17th one? Yeah. Oh, he gets advantage on this. Oh, well, it's too late for that. There should be a breakdown. Say like melee combat specialist, I think. Yeah. It breaks down each level that he gets into attack. I think I'm gonna be three five. The loose can play all of our characters, but no one can play his. I had him do bad that one day. Here we go. Just didn't want to do the other shit at home. It's it's gross. Bad. It's bad. Seven, I can't. I saw you sitting here like. So he gets three attacks. Like so yeah, I think it's four. Yeah. Okay, so he has three attacks to use there. Okay, so he's gonna hit hit this guy with three attacks. Okay. Okay. Lowest one is a twenty-four. Uh, all of them hit them. Okay. Okay, uh, he'll need to make, um, three separate, uh, saving throws. Uh, Are we not prone strength? Or back? Yeah, not prone. First one, the fail. Okay, so he's not not prone. If you want to roll the other two with yeah, the advantage. Uh, they're not crits, but they okay. are higher. Uh, so 
that's an extra d8, so 2d8. Forty-two damage. Forty-two. Mm -hmm. And that is it for him. Okay. I write something down. Alright, so jumping down, he kind of like holds the shield up and slams the hammer into the ground and then pulls it up out of the ground, clumping all of the kind of moss and soot and ash and rock into one, causing this huge like clubbing to form onto the hammer. The first hit that he takes, you watch the rock break off and then as he's like bringing the hammer back around, it recongeals to it and then he just keeps doing that same motion over and over again, watching the rock, the rock kind of break and splinter off as well as kind of blood splattering around. The first hit he takes though, hitting it up in the jaw causes it to fall down and then he just kind of hits it a couple more times. All right, uh, Zar, you are up. So after having seen the horse that, or the reindeer that Silomir was on, mm -hmm. his throat slash, Zar will have kind of like reared the reindeer back kind of done a quick 180 and slid off to the side and the demon comes through the smoke and attacks him okay and then as soon as that happens he's like reaching back for the axe and then he feels like the haste power come over him and he just kind of just starts flexing and he's just like staring at this demon and then he just grips the axe with two with a large yell okay. he starts swinging down at him right. don't actually yell you'll probably scare the babies <laughs> yeah i won't do that <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attack recklessly. I say that because last time when you screamed, you scared me a little bit. <laughs> uh, the first one will be a 25. I'll do the damage. Twelve. Oh, wait. Maybe two more. 15. 24. <laughs> 27 damage for the first attack. <laughs> No, he just keeps grabbing random damage. <laughs> <laughs> the first swing I see a D100 after he has the active. Did you add the sheath damage? I know you forget every time, so. 28. <laughs> Thank you. Um, as he takes the axe out, you can see in its like rested state on his back that it still has a pretty intricate design. There's a dull kind of crackle to the grooves, but as he pulls it out, the closer his hand starts to get to it, the more the lightning crackles from his hand to the handle. And it gets to a point where when you're close enough, there's almost this like magnetism to where like you don't actually grab it. It starts to kind of gravitate towards your hand a little bit, and then when you pull it from your back, you feel this lightning kind of arc from where it was sheathed to the blade. And with that first swing that you slam down, there's this kind of concussive blast against where it slams and you hear this like <clears throat> like dull thunder kind mm -hmm. of roar the lightning arcing kind of goes through the uh, target that you just hit as well and as Ryan and Connor the two of you standing there like watching you can see this just blue lightning and Get white lightning bent. crackling everywhere <laughs> it's bright enough to where you kind of like avert your eyes a little bit and you can even feel the force of like his swing coming down towards the demon in front of him I'm immediately just through the haze just Back out and in again. 24 to hit. Hits. Dude, crit. What are you doing? I'm working on it, okay? It's a warm up. He just grabbed another dice. <laughs> <laughs> that one's. 33 damage. <laughs> and then. Just like. The third attack. Alright, I guess. Yeah, you suck. Three dice and you you suck. Every time, man! <laughs> it's 28 to hit. 
I'm gonna crit next turn just to flex on you. I'm gonna crit. I'm not even gonna roll. And that one's gonna be 26. And then he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Because with the last swing, there's going to be an extra charge of lightning that surges through him. Through the axe into him. Uh, uh, 14. Failure. Okay. Shit. Well, that's nine lightning damage. Nine? Yeah. Okay. Do you, uh... Does the axe give you... Any time you do lightning cameras, or is it just specific things? Melee weapon attack. It gets just melee weapon. the additional okay. I was just making sure I don't remember. Yeah. Cool. Okay. You only did 96. That's it. With haste. That's the third little swell you used on it. Dude. What I'm working on it, okay? Waste, dude. <laughs> you didn't 90, realize. 96 damage is pretty good. You didn't realize that this axe was just. More fuel for us to flame you is what it really is. I know. <laughs> Shall I just sit back here with the 27? <laughs> I didn't do any. He can't heal us. He has no excuse. This is job. All right. Each swing that's coming down, um, you you feel the the power and how much strength you have. Even just like wielding, not the power of the axe itself, but just physical strength that you feel as well. Um, you feel bolstered just all over. Your swings are way harder than they were before. The axe itself almost feels like it's like pulling itself forward towards the target, like the lightning is like clinging to what you're hitting. And every time you rear it back, it almost just like slingshots it back into the into the target. Um, the lightning is just constantly around you, arcing off. Um, but at the same time, as chaotic as it seems, you're in complete control of almost every single arc that's like coming off and branching outward. When you're swinging, the lightning that's kind of hitting is crackling against him and then just kind of like falling out the, the back. And you can see with each hit, he's, he's trying to like recover, but he's just getting knocked down and the lightning is kind of causing him to uh, tense his muscles up and pull himself inward. There's huge wounds over to his shoulder and his chest where the axe has been kind of slamming in and then you can see a bunch of like burn marks where the lightning is trying to exit. Um, the third swing that you take and hit into the chest, you hear this crunch noise with the, the thunder kind of concussive blast as well. You feel like there's some bone that may have just kind of crunched just from the force of the concussion of it. Uh, it's definitely no joke. You can feel the, the power of the weapon and it shows. You guys can definitely see it too. Uh, after that, end of round one, on to round two. Okay. Even, yeah, top like dog shit. even with the ferocity that you just had attacked the demon with, still it's just like in the fight. Doesn't seem like it has any other purpose than to do what it's doing right now and turns around yeah, to attack really you. You're a pussy. Um, yeah, take that. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Uh, you tech recklessly, right? Yeah. yeah. So, advantage. Natural 20. That's how you do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, 29. This motherfucker's got... And 29. Plus, this motherfucker's got plus 10 to hit. Uh, what do we That's kind of why I was attacking recklessly, because I knew they were going to hit me. You're spooky, man. <laughs> so, I've got... Our enemies can't have a, more than a plus 4, Billy. I'm going to do this one as the crit... That'll just be straight damage, right? Yep. So, 19 of the non crit. Halved to 9. Nine. <laughs> and then. <laughs> oh, I was trying to tell Jerry to mute me while I was mid <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, like 18 for the crit, half to 9. Okay. Oh, you're dead, dude. I know. I'm dying. This one is going to attack Azrael. Mm -hmm. It's illegal. Uh, natural one. You 
know what? I talk shit to you about your 96 damage, but only did 67. <laughs> <laughs> did miss three uh, attacks. 15 so. and 18. Don't miss. All right. I did it. Okay. Takes the first swing up at you. Sure. You just kind of like parry Zero it to damage. the side. Takes the next two swings, and you just keep yeah. knocking the blade. Oh, it's like coming straight down, and you're just Sounds smacking cooler. it side to side every time it goes to draw it up. It gets to a point where on the third attack, you've just put the blade so far behind it that it hasn't had a chance to like push forward. You're just like ching ching ching, knock it almost out of its hand. Uh, are, are those are the four people attacking on their turn? On their like attack turn? You the, can't really see four? much of. You can see this one. You can't see what's happening with the other three. You mean the guards? Are they attacking? No, the other demons. I'm no, confused. that's not something we would know. Okay. I was just You've wondering if you were actually keeping kind of track of it. Here. So, okay. So they might uh, actually die. This guy's gonna stand up. Uh, he's gonna take his three attacks at Moldrak here. Uh, 27, 23, and 19. 19 misses. Against, against Moldrak. 19 misses? Yeah, he's got 22. Okay, so. Bro, he used all the good luck on you. That's how it goes. Uh, 21 points of slashing damage to Moldrick. As he's standing up, kind of digging a claw into the <coughs> ground, uh, just takes the blade up and slices it upward. Moldrick goes to block it, but the shield goes too early and it kind of clips him in the back of the arm. And then as it's coming back, just kind of rakes downward. Uh, and Moldrick just shoves it back uh, as it's trying to stand up. This guy here, turning over and swinging at the guard there. Uh, natural 1, natural 20, and a 20. Okay, calm down. I, I'm telling you, the last roll I did on Azrael was, or on uh, Sar was 219s. Um, not a lot of damage though here. So I have plus 10. Nice check. Nice check. <laughs> Salt water. Good. <laughs> All right, you see two hits land on that guard there. Uh, one of them actually hits him up against the tree, uh, to where <clears throat> he like dodges the third one to the side, and the demon jabs it so far into the tree that he's trying to yank it out but can't. So now he's just kind of standing there with his claws. Jerry's gonna have to throw us away now. All right. After that, uh, Ander, you're up. Flank him. <laughs> Get me you in there. Him? Get oh, me okay. in there. <laughs> he can't. He doesn't have enough movement. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> He's out of reach. My attacks aren't at advantage, though, right? No. And, uh, also too fast. The dex is too high. Ah, I wanna free roll. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't make the noise, it means you're more likely to do it, right? <laughs> you gotta make a strength throw or be knocked back 10 feet. Hang on. This is just a normal roll because I didn't say it. 25 to hit. It's yeah, you make your strength check. Uh, it fails. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, loser. <laughs> knocked back. How far? 10 feet. You thought you got me. Thought you had me there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ungettable, okay? You want you done got yourself. Unfuckwittable. <laughs> That's cock. Is that Nate? We what do we do there? That's not cock. Oh, it's not even cock. <laughs> how does it how is it like that? I think it's the table. It's an eight. I'm gonna tell you it's an eight. Oh, that's an eight. That was weird, man. That was weird. Twelve. Uh, nineteen damage. Okay. And then the other four attack. Oh my god. Bro, I'm really, I'm really out here cheating this shit. He stacked the deck. Everybody hurt? You hurt? Four aces and ten cards? Come on now. That's three. It's three aces. You pulled the other two right here. Yeah, this was a king. Oh, I thought that was an ace. <laughs> this ace. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw one card at uh, Sarbrax. Okay. And hurt you, because you're a pussy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Take some 10 HP, dog. Okay. <laughs> I'm the healer now. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's all I got. I'm out of healing now. And then... The other three attacks. Hang on, I'm not done yet, sorry. Sharp good or no? See, that's why I can't play other people's characters. I got too many things going on here, okay? Reroll damage for your next attack if you hit. Use which roll is higher. If you roll the same number, add both together. This one? Sharp here. I don't know why I looked at you like there was a chance that didn't hit. Don't get too cocky. Bro, I rolled in 26. We're gonna fight enemies that have changing ACs soon. <laughs> <laughs> Those are two sevens? They go together? I'm actually cheating? Oh, you rolled two sevens? Yeah. That's, I think that's the first time you've ever actually done that. Successfully. I know yeah, that you got like higher. To, didn't have to rub it in or anything, but. It's not rubbing it in, so congrats, dude. <laughs> 40 damage for that one, and then the last two cards. Do one at a time. Sharp shoot. <laughs> 21. Hits. Haha, <laughs> bitch. He takes 17. I don't know, actually, he takes 10 because he's at the. Other hands. He's still up. He's still alive. Do I need to roll this? I'm trying you don't to have to roll that. Yeah, I knew it. As you're running up, the first card you throw, you throw it right at the chest. There's this huge poof that causes the demon to not like jolt up, but slide back. And then before he can even react, you take two cards, push together, and just chuck them. And they're like barely uh, separated. And it just goes clean through the chest out the other side. And you watch him just crumple in front of you. All right. My last card. I'm going for the guy on Zarvarex. Actually, switch that up. I'm going to hit the guy on the guard over here. Quink up. Natural thorn. I'm cheating. I was <laughs> confirmed. I didn't say sharpshooter, though. This is a plus 10. Like, that's like nothing to me. That's <laughs> it. Uh, oh, yeah, just 28 damage. Told you I was going to create my turn. Alright. Um. The demon still seems pretty focused on that guy after hitting him with the card. Um, you moving at all? Or no, you moved to your full movement. Uh, Azrael, you're up. I'm gonna like deflect that last attack, so knock the sword back. That, like brief moment, and he brings the voice, the weapon back. He's gonna um, turn all his right into it, blood right. The cold one. Jared, don't say anything to Kay. Don't. <laughs> Jared, can you grab me a water while you're Water? There? Yeah. Thank uh, you. Just come back down with it after you push the blade back. It's a natural 19, which will crit. Just slow from before. Uh, divine smite it. D6 on the blade. Um, D8 from the right. Bonus D8 from critting. I brought some D8s. Yeah, sure. And a D8 from the Divine Smite, plus it being a demon. And then double that. So I'll just roll twice. Yeah, that's everything. Oh, yeah, I forgot demons. Twenty-four, twenty-nine, 
32, 40, 45, so it becomes 90, 90 plus 6 radian. No, plus the flat bones, so um, 96 plus 6 radian. Boom. Jesus. Hundred eight? No, more than that. No, oh, yeah, hundred eight. Yeah, as he knocks the so it knocks the blade back to the side, takes it back, channels the, the blood magic into it. Like comes back up with a slice and like slices right across the chest and then gets ready to um, come back up and back around the back of the head. Alright. Uh, so 24. It's. Uh, it's not the nice one. No extra crit, just the bonus from the right. Good. Uh, 16 normal and 6 radiant. Alright. The quick flourish that you do, knocking it back, drawing the blade back, and then the first swing across that has the bright blue flash of energy behind it causes this huge gash from shoulder to shoulder where you can see there's blood just heavily pulling out. You take the opportunity with the second slash back to just open the wound up even further and slice through mm -hmm. to where you actually slice part of the like upper rib cage off, like cracking it just hard enough with the swing. The blue energy that's coming through completely cauterizes it to where it's like black and charred. And he's just kind of standing there for a minute before just falling over on his side. And he's just going to do a quick like twirl around to have it behind his back and right get to the next target. All right. He's up. Okay, I'm just going to do this now then since he's not here. Um. I'll just say, since you three are the only three here, make perception checks, please. Disadvantage? Or? Yes. Okay. Sheesh! 23. 22. Um, 21. <coughs> we'll drink a uh, natural 20. Okay. Alright, so that's well enough to, to see. Um... So coming in from the side uh, over here, uh, Sarbrax and Azrael, you guys see it more than anybody. Uh, you can see more guards are charging in. Elven guards? Yes. Despite the appearance of the minis. Are charging in. You see them like running in this direction. Um, as you see them kind of moving in quickly, uh, f the far side over here, uh, Moldrak would catch it beyond that kind of smoke there. Uh, there are some demons that he catches a glimpse, a glimpse of. It seems that there is, um, it's kind of hard to read it. But mostly there was like more demons on, uh, or not more demons, more like elven individuals and such on this side. Just from the angle that you guys came in at, the portal is that way, if that makes sense. Um, the route that you would have had to take. So it seems that stuff seems to be funneling in this kind of direction. And then looking at kind of the layout of how things are right now, it somewhat makes sense. Um, but nonetheless, Moldrak catches those three or so demons over there. Um, you three over here see the elves kind of pushing in a little bit this way. Uh, and they seem to kind of just go in that direction where you remember last seeing those demons that were kind of standing over there before you hear clanks and yells and the sounds of battle uh, ensuing. I have a question, and maybe I could just tie it in with this you know, perception that just happened just now. But mm -hmm. is there, could you have like an inclination of like the scope of the battle, like, is it pretty much contained into this general area around here? Like, there's any, like, fights off in the distance that way, or that way, or... You have a pretty solid feeling that this is just, like, a small section of what's actually going on. Okay. Um, 
just based upon the magnitude of like the damage that has already happened within the forest and like how much just dark smoke is in that direction. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly the extent of it, but you know whatever you're getting into is just the, the very beginning of whatever happened. Like this is everything that just kind of reached the front or the started to reach the tail end of whatever fight had already happened. Because you guys passed some bodies on the way here, um, but this just seems to be kind of like a somewhat of a just remnants of whatever occurred here before. Uh, so whatever's going on further back, there's probably more of a, a battle, like a front line of where everything's just kind of mainly taking place, and all of this seems to be shit that had may have just broken off and outskirts of whatever or stuff that flaked off somewhere else, because, you know, there's probably only a handful or so of demons here, and a lot of the yeah. elves that are here seem to have been possibly, like, running away. I just want to have his own, like, my own idea for how much he would, like, exert himself in this. Uh, battle. yeah, i definitely say that... It, you guys know to probably consider yourselves pretty good. Because whatever, like, yeah, I'll say it right now. Whatever you just stepped into, it's very obvious that it's not going to be a quick one fight and done. Like, there is... We could just leave. There is a definite <laughs> battle occurring inside of the, the Redwoods right now. And the extent of it you're not sure of, so... Being conservative with your stuff is definitely a good idea. You say that after I used the three aces already. Okay. What do you mean used them? <laughs> you don't get control over that. Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean used them? He's like, I plant them in specific yeah, portions of my deck. <laughs> Why do you think I have twelve aces in this deck? <laughs> All right, Cholonia, you are up. Isn't that your third ace in the book? Alrighty. I'm down to have more face cards in it. Run back towards this guy here. Mm-hmm. That's a little and... cheap. <laughs> I'm going to uh, start with two. Is he like yeah, close? Right. Is he look close to going? Or I know he said he got he got stabbed. He got stabbed pretty good, but he's still um. He's still strong. strong. Okay, yeah. I'll do four punches. Then. Okay. First two is twenty-one and twenty-six. Both hit. Second two are twenty-seven and fourteen. Fourteen. Throw hands. So I do 52 like, damage with those. Good shit. Yeah, nice. Alright. Run up behind and start jabbing into the back and like kind of rib area of where the demon kind of has the blade up. And he's going to swing down at the guard. And it kind of slows up, like he almost like has like a hitch in his swing when you hit him, like where he like kind of freezes up and then continues to swing. It gives the guard time to like throw his blade up and then push it back. As he does, the demon kind of turns around to face you at that point. Got its attention. Bro, I just heard a lion roar. So, I don't know if that's helpful or like <laughs> if we're fucked is where I'm at. The guards. That same guard you know that's right that there is going to take from. a swing at the... Oh, natural 20. More drag? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got a dragon horn, dude. Hmm? You got a dragon horn, dude. I'm overwhelmed right now. You're overwhelmed? There's a lot to do. That I could do, rather. This kind of makes combat a little more fun. Yeah, welcome, yeah. Like, welcome to like, having oh, just run actual thing. things to do instead of just swing, swing, swing. Swing, swing, swing. All right. But uh, the guard that's right there just yourself. buries no, the blade into the ribs, little, and you watch the demon kind of like, <laughs> like rear back and blood kind of spewing out. Uh, it seems like he lands a solid hit on him. Did I do the right thing at the right time? As <laughs> as the first thing, when okay. we or we finished um, last campaign, I'm not playing this fucking shit anymore, dude. These guards runs <laughs> over here, disappear. Display a warlock. <laughs> When in doubt, just throw your king tree. Play sorcerer, wizard, and piece. Uh, Connor, you're up, and then we'll drag. Yep. Alright. Um. So, I move forward, um, towards, right like, right? yeah, towards, like, Chelonia. How far? Uh, my distance, 30 feet. Oh. 
5 times 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. There? Mm hmm. Um. And then, um. Con save for the, uh, the demon. This one? Yep. And yeah, you can't see that one, so yeah. Okay. Yep. Um. Not gonna make it. Right. At least I don't think. Yeah, I can't even get past 12. Alright. So, uh. It's gonna blight him. Okay. Wire is probably jammed up. You'll have to open it back up and then from the other side feed the wire it's through. Your buddy. <laughs> or you can pull um, it there. Thirty necrotic damage. Only thirty. Yeah. All right. This uh, demon only has its claws right now because it buried the blade into the side of the tree. Um, but as it turns around goes to like reach its hand back and claw up towards Chelonia, but from the wrist up, the hand just disappears from the uh, black hole energy that you caused to form on it. A little bit of it's like splotched onto the arm, but as it goes to swing, Chelonia just like throws his arm up and blocks it, and there's just kind of like this nub that's sitting there now. All right, movement, your action. Yep. Uh, Mold drag. Mold drag's also gonna run up towards this guy, his full movement, uh, 40, 40 feet. All right. And he's gonna lay his attacks into him. Swing, 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 swing. Four attacks. Uh, those two probably won't hit. Uh, you said 18 don't, don't hit, right? Yeah, 18 misses. Okay. Uh, the other two are a 26 and a 31. Uh, oh, one misses. Um, you, you strength save. He sees threshold. Mm, um, seven. Fail. It's knocked down. Can you use full, like, full trees? Yeah, those are like the redwoods, so they can't see through those. Where's the, why didn't you bring the full trees? Um, <laughs> how hard it actually be to play the game? <laughs> Just big ass trees. <laughs> be like this. <laughs> now I wouldn't even do them justice. To scale, they probably have to be like this high. Uh, I want to cut one of them down so bad, dude. <laughs> uh, thirty-six damage to him. He's just like hanging on by a thread. Mm -hmm. As Moldrag is just pummeling it. Bro, right, you can't pull your wiener out. <laughs> and he he'll like lean over or like look towards the elf. He's like, we're here to help. All right. You can see like in the face of like the elf that he's just absolutely terrified. And it was either a fight or flight, and flight kicked in. It's kind of the moment he's having right now. Okay. Um, sorry, you're up. I'm just gonna keep attacking that boy in front of me. All right. Boy. Yikes! Twenty-seven to hit. Roll another D6, why not? I have ways to do that, but I can't right now. <laughs> That's cheating. Hit a crit. 25 damage. Alright, this one's a crit. Off the first swing. Bet you won't crit no balls. That means no balls, you. you better crit right here. I'm not going to. No, this is it. Second a swing. 
That was so depressing, dude. That was the most depressing shot. Did it roll off of yeah. it was, it was <laughs> 30 to hit. Just get improved crits, so then you crit on 19. 29 damage. So you're actually wish. useless. It's crazy. I think I just straight up missed. Yeah, I did. Um, but you need to make a dexterity saving throw. What was it, an 18? Uh, I'm pretty sure that makes it. I rolled a 17 naturally. <laughs> My DC is 17. Can't do that so. one. Yeah. Wow. That would have been Enough. the one that he fucking Five blocks, damage. too. 10 lightning damage. 10? Yeah. But he already can't roll a crit. Don't go blocking his fucking lightning bolt, too, man. <laughs> Look, give him some time to adjust to the axe, all right? Yeah, it's, a, it's the new balance. The axe is, like, doing <laughs> the work new balance for me. Axe. I'm trying to figure it out. The first swing that you, you broke take on all of us with balance slams on pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you're hitting into the... Uh, each swing that you're taking, it doesn't feel like the normal depth. Like, you feel like you're, like, getting through muscle almost with every single swing. You can see the demon in front of you is, like, f almost falling apart trying to stand up, but is still fighting you. Swinging the blade out at you. There's, like, char marks in the shoulder from where the lightning's kind of arcing through. There's huge gashes all throughout the, the body. Um, barely hanging in there. Alright. Uh, Round three. <coughs> Fight. Mm, so three attacks on you. An advantage, first one. You do have plus two to your AC if you didn't. Uh, add I don't. Sixteen? No. Well, that's sixteen this time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> Twenty-four. Yes. All right. All right. Next. Next turn. Don't roll 12, recklessly. Uh, 12 points uh, slashing damage. 6. Because okay. I guarantee you crits if you roll no <laughs> dice. <laughs> uh, this guy over here is going to just, from the ground, no. start clawing at whoever's in front of Stand him. Stand up! He's going to claw Chalonia. Small Drek makes a sentinel attack on him. Okay. I'll do the first one then. Um... 19 to hit you. Take, uh... 11 points of slashing damage. It's gonna be the one. 32. Pre Preempt the roll. 32? Okay, yeah, you don't even have to roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> the demon on the ground is just, up. like, beat to hell. You can see one of its arms that you, like, probably on the side where you were manipulating uh, pressure points and the same side that Moldrak just beat to shit. It's just, like, limp, and he's, like, leaning forward. Actually just rears up and slices down with his claws at your leg, and then Moldrak just, like, <laughs> uppercuts the head really quick, and it just goes limp onto the ground. The two of you just kind of look at each other, nod, <laughs> and then as you are nodding, uh, look over, like, in this direction, and you can kind of just hear, like, like something pushing on the ground, like these thuds, heavy footfalls. You hear clanking before you hear, like, loud screams of what sound more human than demon. And then before you know it, you can see blurred silhouettes of figures that just come barreling out of the smoke. That's a lot of demons. You better kill that thing and get over here. Wish. I wish. <laughs> so, this one I got you. I, I got you. Wait. I'll kill him. This and one you will can, not have the attacks this round. All the other ones will. Cheaters. Start here. Three attacks against you, Trelonia. They're pushing blue, dude. Why are you AFK and Freezer? Come on. Uh, 13, 14. <laughs> Both miss, I'm assuming. And then 25. You take 11 points slashing damage again. Three more attacks at you from. Oh my god. Hey, chill! So, 
18, 28, and 13. Uh, 7 and 8. So 15 total there. I mean, this is in like the nicest way possible. These guys are kind of pussies. <laughs> attacks on... Just a little They divert all their attention to Ander. <laughs> I'd probably kill them before they kill me. On... All... Eight of them. Seven. Eight. The elf. Can kill that man right in front of them. Small track. I'm still gonna attack back. I'm just gonna uh, roll 16, one at a Sixteen. Nope. Nineteen. Nope. Twenty-three. Yes. Uh, Got these spells I gotta figure out. Thirteen points slashing damage. I'm a barbarian, I can't cast spells. This is crazy. <laughs> uh, all of you guys see it as well. The demons that just come flying out of nowhere, the smoke bellowing up. You can see blades picking up, uh, sounds of metal clanking. Uh, you can hear Trelonia grunting from the sounds of being stabbed and slashed at. Um, what else? These guys are dead. I guess I can just leave the bodies here. Down. Back <clears throat> All right. All the goons went and died. If these motherfuckers lose their fight... <laughs> is that I'm one sorry. elf still sta staying strong over there? He is. Okay. That guy's become the keeper after this. He survived. How many people have you guys said that? <laughs> <laughs> and how guy, many of them died? That this fight, he becomes a keeper. <laughs> dies every time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, Rip Shrug. Did I already attack you over here, Zara? I think I did. Didn't yeah, you, you started, started yeah. with them. Started this way and went that way. Okay, uh, Andrew, you're up. Then Ezreal. I'm gonna kill the one on. Ooh, wait, actually, on your turn, you gotta make a wisdom save. No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. pretty sure you do. Luck. Fuckered it. I'm luck. Mo. Fuckered it. No, I did. No, no, I no. Uh -oh. oh no! I'm gonna, you're gonna die. I think I'm killing you, dude. You're the closest to me. <laughs> They're taking me over. You're done, dude. I think, I, I think, think I got you should have uh, not died. Is it the, from the eye? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Oh, I forgot old. about the eye. Yeah. yeah, you're dead. I'm sorry, man. Sauron was just like, kill him. He whispered in my ear and said, kill Connor. <laughs> Do it. No. You see, you try, okay? you try to like uh, divert your attention here to assist, but something like pulls your head in that direction to where you're looking like in between, like where all of the fray is happening. There's this thick smoke bellowing up from here. You see a single red eye inside of the smoke. The smoke kind of parts, and then you see standing on what appear to be however many legs you'd imagine whatever I described to you has. Inside of the middle of the smoke, looking down at you, you see the two red eyes kind of flare, and then the smoke kind of covers it and it disappears. How many legs do you imagine this thing has? Seventy. <laughs> okay. It's just, it's just all legs. <laughs> it's actually just a red eye with round with it legs. Made of legs. <laughs> it's like a leg, like here, leg here, bunch that's, of leg teeth. That's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> leg teeth sound awful. Dude, thank God no video game has thought of that one yet. You roll uh, a nine. Yeah. You lose an attack this round. You were too busy focused on the legs. I probably threw one at Adam. Yeah. All right. Sense. So now I'm a little. Um, little uh, confused here based off the logistics. I thought these were trees. Yeah, but I just looked through trees. Look this way. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you look that way. I'm going to shake it off and then put a card back because I don't need that one. And then uh, I'll kill the one on Zarbrae. Okay. Please. Yeah, you're welcome to steal my kills now. Garbage shot. Yeah. You remember when I said I was going to kill you? Just indirectly trying to kill you. The first card blows up. Is Connor within 10 feet of me? Yeah. Let's see how much you take. <laughs> Isn't haste concentration? 9 damage. That's it. It's only 9 damage. 
I wouldn't hit you if I come up. That's all I all it was. And Dan. The other three are just normal attacks. I save concentration. The first one's at disadvantage. I might not kill this guy. That red eye has really got you twisted, dude. He's got me fucked up. Okay, don't say wow, okay? <laughs> wow. <laughs> there's, there's other words you could use, like, oh. <laughs> oh, dog shit, oh. <laughs> 17. To hit? Uh, yeah. Misses. Okay, these two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking popped out of my hand. I was rolling. This. One's a crit. The other one? 21. Both hit. You're, this guy's fucking dead, dude. I told you he was gonna die. That dude's the red eye. He's a sleeper agent. Fucking red eye's gone now. Oh, it's the face of the earth. I didn't think about this. Oh, hang on, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm gonna just re-roll it because you, one of them had to be a crit, and I just rolled them together. I was just gonna take the highest number. You know what I mean? Twenty-eight damage, and then, and then, five damage. Throw it as corpse. Okay. It's a death save fail. Just make sure he fucks up. And he's dead. Him. Got him. You moving at all? Yeah, I'm running away. No, I'm just I'll just it. Maybe back up once, just so I can't blow up Connor. Even though I already did it, just to make sure I can't do it again. <laughs> I already did. Is that what you just said? <laughs> it says so I don't blow you up. 18. 18? I blow you, dude. Okay. <laughs> it's on the table, you know what I mean? Does anyone like see this? Yes. <laughs> I'm slide over there a little bit. Um, as he pulls up the uh, weapon from that long. Uh, the way he's holding it, it's going to turn into the rifle as he pulls it up. And look down at between these. Uh, shoot right here. Okay. And, uh, Do you get two or three lined up? Or you That's only gonna hit one okay. additional. Okay. So say, uh, you shooting through him? Uh, so the, so the <laughs> first guy. Phase montage quick. <laughs> it's a natural twenty. Fuck yeah. Um, I'm not gonna do anything. Jumps off the tree. Save him. Uh, gun. The water right in the bonus. Some more. Two of these. Oh, D12s? Yeah. Two of these. There's one gun? The birthday. Demon's made when you create, you double the dice. Not like the number. Uh, like yeah. The, you got the number gun, of dice you roll is double. The rifle is 2D12. Against uh, fiends. Uh, blood right and the bonus crit. Yeah. That just sounds heavy. And then six radiant. The six radiant is kind of insane. <laughs> Fuck. You do that to two people? No, then the guy hit the other guy. Oh. Uh, he said 98. And how much radiant? Six. Is it doubled or not doubled? Not doubled. Okay, just start doubling it for me. 110 damage. And then the uh, oh, fucking crit. The guy, behind, the guy behind him gets a uh, 50, 25, 20, yeah, 25 to hit. Hits. I believe it's half damage on the collateral. <laughs> bless you, bless you. Excuse me. I was like really into it. Yeah. Was that I need a, to. Uh, was that a sneeze? I thought you thought you were coughing. That was a sneeze. So. 12. You need new sneezes. No, they suck. What? 
Let me just go to Meyer, buy a new sneeze. You can go get a laugh from the Laugh Factory. 22 from <laughs> Do you guys watch uh, Community? Where he talks about doing so the different types of sneezes. 14, no. normal so damage, and 6 or 8. Oh. <laughs> There's a one you catch through. Wait, how much normal damage? 14. I already have to. <laughs> and then he does like, the power scene. Oh. <laughs> like, three fight, you should watch it. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Donald Glover? No, it's the old guy. The only the person you know oh. from Community. Yeah, that's the only guy I know. Because he's really from Groundhog Day. Not Groundhog Day, Caddyshack. Yeah. God, what is this? Bill Murray? No. No, no he's from, uh, I think, Bill Vacation. Bill Murray's in a fucking random ass TV movie. show. What the fuck is that? Vacation. Chevy Chase? Yeah, Chevy, Chevy Chase. Chase. Okay. <laughs> Chevy Chase. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's the one. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, that fucking show is great. All right. Um, yeah, that was a cool turn. I <laughs> just. All right. Uh, after Azrael Shalonia, you are up. <laughs> uh, if I move out of here but stay in range of him, do I only take opportunity right. attacks from those two? Yes. Okay. Do you? I don't know. Did you try so just that's like? That's what I'm gonna do. Pretty? I'm going to this one. Oh, okay, cool. The other two times I was kind of. Uh, like, natural one and a twenty-nine. <laughs> This no, time I'm going to be like, serious? <laughs> take 13 or no, 12 points of slash. I've been saying this for literally years now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to but I don't want to curse anybody else's dice. Okay. Still Moldrex dice? Would these be considered in a straight line? Four or just these guys? Just, the, the actually, five. Gust of Wind. The, the, I'm going to buy some Yeah, but it's got a certain too. circumference, and I think it would hit all three of them. That's what I'm kind of getting at, so let me... Say a quick prayer to the day. I had to make a strength save because the shop has cool. I shot nice. a rifle standing up, but I got a 23, so it was good. Okay. Damn, I don't need my spellbook anymore. I looked it up. It didn't. It just said straight line. Yeah, but it's like I think it would be five feet or something. For what? I would say that you're gonna hit all three regardless, though. Because you got oh, ten line. feet wide. Yeah, you'll hit them all three. All right, so then so yeah, I'm going up forward and try to blast them all back here. Okay, strength saves, right? Yeah. Uh, first one. Jared Punch. Fuck. This is Jerry. Uh, so punch Jerry. If you find I a Jerry know. with a J, they'll punch Which the shit out of that guy, dude. On, is it on the car? I stole his smoothie. What are you looking for? The bow staff might have one on it. If it doesn't, then it's gonna be whatever Wait. your DC is. Whatever your smell DC. So yeah, that's, I mean, it's like, yeah, it's gotta be good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, so that fails. Next one. Huh? I make a range weapon next. Next one. Oh. I make a range weapon. Fail also. And just make a attack. It's just the same. So I want to blast them all. This is a full turn, right? Right. So I want to blast them all back. Kind of stab them in the back. How far does it say? You just go. Hey, take damage from the spell. And then Billy's got to roll something. Then he goes. You're like, hey, did you make it? And he goes, no, I didn't make it. And then you roll up. You're like, wait. Alright, for what? But I think I these guys, too. go ahead and roll a d10. What is the, uh, I'm slamming on the tree. A spell two, casting one. Just one. Just one. <laughs> and I'll just go for it. What does it say? Plus five. Uh, five. Okay. I don't know, is that good or bad? Your what? Spell it's casting not as good as my plus five. It's worth it. It's very serious. So, <laughs> which one? 60 feet, right? <laughs> So they're two. They're all movements. Spell DC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Chelonia takes oh, the so staff, you. kind of flips it forward, holds it in the you air, spell, activates it, and this five, huge whatever, gust like, of wind pushes normal. forward, slamming the demons up against the tree. This one slams up against the ones that are there. Um, as they're sitting there, all of the smoke that's right here is just completely starting to push away. And you can see in that 60 or so foot uh, of wind that's kind of pushed off, a uh, good amount of bodies that are kind of just like spread out, uh, demon and uh, elven. Uh, a couple of just piles of what look like bone. Um, I thought it was just five. Me too. That was like no <laughs> shot. <laughs> There's no point in casting um, this spell. I'm use my uh, bonus action here. Um, 
to grant resistance. I can can I I can reach him. Mm -hmm. Uh to grant uh resistance to Connor uh for slashing damage. Okay. Thank you. Wait, that's kinda of sick. That's an hour, right? The amount of swords yeah, I hear too, you're tearing the fucking clear, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, the sword stopped your fight. <laughs> Oh, I'm red. I'll have to die today, by the way, because my mini's coming this week. <laughs> New mini? Yeah. You get two free sessions. That's <laughs> what they told me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works? That's yeah, what the yeah. website told you? Yeah, yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Not really. I wrote it on my notes. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the guards. Uh, this one's gonna turn around and stab at. Bro, run! That guy. This dude about to die. Oh, That's okay. Gonna miss. It's not okay, man. It's a future keeper right there, dude. I, I told future, you. Future keepers don't run. Damn. That's deep. Connor, you're up. Yes. I'm I'm the the <laughs> <laughs> Um, these the same kind of demons we fought before in the pit are the ones the same ones you saw and these are the ones in Grunswick that you fought okay or they were the ones that lit their blades on fire no. I thought that's the people that, that we fought this one I thought it was the people that we fought in the pits that lit their Okay. Um. Watch. I'm rewatching the episode. <laughs> yeah, let me know if they do because I don't have it in my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna rewatch the episode. No, they, they don't. don't. They, they don't don't never. Do. No, that was a fight. That <laughs> they, was they can't do that. Um, that well, sounds like they can do it now. <laughs> that sounds like a fire giant thing to do. Honestly, fire giants definitely did. Yeah. Um, these three right here that have clumped up. I'm gonna drop a meteor on them. All right. You want to get the guy in there? Dex save, right? We can. If he wants to be in there. Fuck. Well, uh, only one success. With the lately, people at my work have been doing it Norm was the door privileges, oh, dude. Okay. Harper, get. I've been doing that. God damn it, it just makes me think of Machi. Yeah. That's, like, that's who I thought of when they did it. <laughs> they got me with it. Dude, he was doing that to us in fucking college. It was so annoying sometimes. Did he even try to close it or did he just left it open? He left it open. Normandy? It's on the second time. It's not allowed to leave the roof. Unless somebody opens the door for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we're pretty much done with this fight. Uh, uh, like five more? Easy, dude. 35 to the ones that didn't save. Is it 18 to the one that did save? Funny well, enough, this incursion has to be a milestone, though, right? I doubt it. It's a lot of demons, man. Oh, like from what like, four and everything. Too, like. yeah. That's true. We pretty much fought that. We pretty much killed him. Killed him. We lost a boy. Like that's a milestone. Yeah, we All killed that portal. Okay. Um, the meteor that you pull down, you kind of throw it up into the air. And as you're doing it, you don't actually like see it very well. You can just see kind of little bits of fire attached to it, and then as it's forming and kind of growing, the just silhouette of the mass that's sitting above in the smoke. Yeah, it kind of pulls some of the fire that's yeah, burning. It's kind of like pulling it. smoke to it too a little bit, and as it does, it swirls, and you just slam it down, hits the side of the tree, you can hear this like kind of crack noise, and it kind of crush, crushes them between the rock and the redwood tree. You still got that book in the in the actual like? <laughs> I know you still like full drag and stuff. I'm not sure. Um, He's been pretty quiet just lately. Kind of like putting Chelonia in between myself and the demons over yeah. there. Just like a quick little. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nope. That is Wait. what they tell you in most video um, games: is to put your killer, killer in, in the front, front of the DPS. <laughs> 
They'll just heal themselves when they take damage. Easy. Muldrak's going to. Um, so I play Battle Mercy. He'll run in, run into the demons. Yeah. And he's just Without gonna, hesitating, charges forward. Yep. And he's just gonna start swinging. All right. Which one's he swinging at? And then I the, started swinging. Throwing the skip one, abilities two, around too already. His right. Without okay. hesitation, then. <laughs> so, what the fuck, man? Well, we'll see. How I think that goes. <laughs> so he, he rolled 32 for that one. Yeah. But so this like, is the last round for his rock bite. It's so, been like four days uh, for our character. Strength save for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15. Alright, his thing is wisdom, right? So it's. So his is 18. Okay. So he gets knocked down. And he's gonna smack the one next to him as well. Like the other one. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna try and. Uh, 17. Well, if he hits. If he hits. Which he does, 25. So he's just going in, he's like. <laughs> just knocking these guys to the ground. First one he hit. <laughs> bounces off the tree, falls down, does yeah. the same to the second. And then um, he's gonna. Uh, let's see. And he's just gonna take two more attacks at that first one he hit. His last two okay. attacks. Um, so 24 for one, and 20 for the other. Does 20 hit? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, I'll roll a damage for these guys. So the first attack that knocked him down did. 15. Okay. The attack that knocked the other one down is 10. Okay. And then the other two attacks on that first guy are a uh, 23 and 12. Last hit as he slams the warhammer against the body on the ground. The rock just kind of breaks off and falls, crumbling around the demon there. All right, this is uh, Zar, you're up. Is our boy still struggling with that deer arm? Uh, yeah. Oh, what would it take to get the deer off? Of uh, an action. He looks like he's like. You get an extra action. Just throw that out there. Yeah. Instead of an extra attack, you can use an action. Yeah, no. And honestly, looking at him though, like he seems like he's doing all right. Like definitely could use some help, but it looks like he'll. Bro, get he out snugged with the fucking deer. <laughs> Go kill some motherfuckers. I uh, in blind rage, forget that he exists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna after the demon in front of me just kind of keels over. I grip the axe handle extra tight, and without fully realizing it, uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast thunderous smite. And then I'm going to run over to the demon that's laying down that's closest to me. I and have now 80 you're, movement. And now you're using skip abilities. Okay, guys. And right. I'm <laughs> not going to attack recklessly because he's laying down. Because you have advantage. Because yes. I have advantage already. <laughs> and then I'm going to swing at him. All right. Bitch! All right, yeah, you never Fucking do that shit again. You never do that shit again. <laughs> never do that shit again. You might have hit When though. you roll a crit, though, it's going to be so 19? <laughs> 19 to hit, 19 hits. 19 okay. just hits. Fuck him up! You oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You got your thunderous smite damage in there? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was okay. a 10. That was a 10. Everybody's oh, oh, was it? Over here. Was it? It looked like a 2 to me. It looked like a 1. <laughs> zero, one. <laughs> zero, 1. That's 37 damage. Oh, shit. No. You know what? You might be right. Is it 10 upside down? Running over there, <laughs> you, <laughs> as you're sprinting, just sh scream Karanos and lift the axe upward, Daddy? holding it with two hands. <laughs> My bad. A bolt of <laughs> lightning arcs down from the sky into the axe head as you're swinging down and you slam the blade into the midsection of the demon on the ground. The lightning bolt following through to the axe head puts like a crater in the ground where you hit. And after you hit, there's this kind of explosion of dirt and you can see limbs that are flying around after you've just cleaved the demon in half with the explosive swing of electricity. Beautiful. Killing it. I will 
You still have yank 25. the axe back out of the ground, and I go forward towards the other one that's laying down. Okay. And I don't attack him recklessly either, because I have to do that before I start my turn. Or attack. <gasps> Crit. <laughs> okay, okay, so I need to know something. Okay. It says that when I crit, my lightning and thunder damage is automatically maximized. Correct. They're dice that I roll. So correct. It Can would be twenty-four, it? so it's forty-eight automatically because it's doubled. So let me see the X, so I can get what you're saying. Because I think I know what you're saying, but I want to read this before I actually. You're the one who wrote it. I know. <laughs> Look, I make a lot of shit, man. And I... So what I was, what I read that as is that I have the four dice from God, two for like each. Sweet. Yeah, so I have. You're just I have, basically gonna disintegrate. This I have two thunder, so two thunder D6 and two lightning D6. So max damage with that. <laughs> just. I really want to meet the guy who made this axe. Four times six, twenty-four, doubled because it's a crit because they're dice that I roll. You gotta look at his hands. So they were really adding to what he was saying. Thunder and lightning damage. Okay, so. When you critically hit, right? Yes. So whatever you can roll. So yeah. It's forty-eight. Yeah. Okay. You, cool. Because you rate forty-eight. Off you'd side. maximum roll would be twenty-four. Right, and then you double it because it's, it's crit to forty-eight. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Okay. That's so what you I was don't sure. you don't roll that at all because no. it's already done. Yes. Sweet. That so that means that the minimum time. damage that I do is uh, four plus nine plus forty-eight, so fifty-two, sixty-one. That's the minimum. I still have to roll and double. Actually, that's a lot. It's 65. Bro, just roll your dice. Man. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm dead, baby! <laughs> and you also get a storm charge or whatever the hell it is. Because you crit. Bro, you just. You are. That was, you didn't even roll, you just put it in the fucking pile. I did roll it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, what's up? Uh, 14 plus 9 is 23. Mm -hmm. yep. So 46 mm -hmm. plus 48 mm -hmm. is 94. Mm -hmm. Yep. Plus 9. 103. 103. Damn, I was going to talk shit if you didn't plus, go. Ahead. If you didn't get over 100. Plus no, the 65 is the bare minimum. So you included that in the yeah, so it's 103 for the total of the attack. Between the two attacks? Yeah. And again, as you swing the blade down, yeah, lightning is just kind right? of arcing to the point what? where as it oh, slams, yeah. there's this just huge... Can you do this? Yes. Look. Wait, if you, like, if I can your do attack it now. hits, but if your attack hits, is it like a, like a smite where you know. can put it on as? I guess that's up to Billy. <laughs> <laughs> it says as a free action, you can use your next, hit, you can cause your next hit to deal an additional 2d6 lightning and 2d6 thunder damage. Yes. Yeah, so you may you stack it, these effects. You do it beforehand. Beforehand? Yep. Oh, okay. Because you, yeah. So it's your, your next hit. Yeah. So like not when you hit, you can cause it. To yeah. It's your next okay. Hit. So your next hit. I was just making sure you couldn't go. Oh, I got a crit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Pretty sure that was designed that way on purpose. I'm just gonna turn and take a swing at the guy to my left. Okay. It was cocked on the scissors, but I pushed him out of the way and it landed on 20. <laughs> I saw it. Okay, well, I, that was going to be I'm a 20 if the scissors weren't there. Be honest, it was 1,000 percent 20. 1,000 percent 20. It was full, like slow rolling. You fucking hit the scissors and stopped on 20. Go you know, from what four rolls of no crits to back to back. I, I get it. It's okay. Roll 12 dice with no crits. And yeah. It no, it just happens. It's just balance. That's all it is. I can't believe I cocked. I'm the fucking 20. Uh, that's 23 again, so it's another 103 damage to that guy. Yeah, he's gone. <clears throat> Running over, the first swing down causes him to just <laughs> explode pretty much. You take the next one right up against the tree. Did you three piece or just two? two I, I, no, oh, I killed all three, three of them. Yeah, when you uh, do me a favor, just roll a d20 really quick. Let's see if you die or not. Well, he's Shit, on. it's three. <laughs> three? Yeah. 
Are you take the axe and swing it into the guy that's on the side, like against the tree there. Yeah. Did you not? As you hit it, you slam clean through him and hit the tree, and it causes the tree to just almost cleave straight through. <laughs> when you like <laughs> hit it, there's this just like, <laughs> and you see the tree just like shaking and rocking a good you know 500 or so feet in the air as it's rocking back and forth the second hit that you take straight in front of you you just slam it into his chest and it causes this huge kind of concussive blast of thunder and lightning which causes this push over towards the tree and the tree went from going to and it hits the ground you see a bunch of dust and smoke kick up and you just see the whole thing as it falls down like 500 or so feet to the side as it's kicking up all the smoke okay. and dust i think i think here it's just illegal if we were in the feywild you'd be dead right now it was an accident i swear an, an, I, an accident <laughs> that guy on the board's dead right the guy in the corner no, it went like. No, the guy in the court. Okay, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I was like, I'm not getting snuck up on Ray by. Yeah, he just... <laughs> <laughs> and then he can just I told Lauren to just each round when you weren't looking slowly <laughs> moving. <laughs> uh, I just look over, there's like um, 10 of them there. One, two, three. You're good. Uh, that's a good turn, man. It's a really good turn. <laughs> that tree fell on that. I did right over 200 there. damage a turn. Killed him as well. And two attacks. And I killed three guys. Three attacks, clean sweep. Alrighty. <laughs> Great setup, I know, wow. man. Whoever, whoever <laughs> the synergy between the ace, the knocking down, and then just like the whistle, like, hey, this armor. So, so really, Jerry did all of this. <laughs> you are who you are because of him. <laughs> When you, the do your, when, you do your speech, when you do your speech, though, when you do your speech, make sure you get at least a thank you. Round four. This guy's just gonna swing at the little guard in front of him. Taste on him. To the Jerry like, God above, and I then you turn enough. it off. And he's like, <laughs> goes to swing at the guard, and he over. ducks underneath the first swing. Oh shit! The second swing he comes down and slams into his like upper shoulder. The blade dug in there. Mm. Hey, thanks for having my back on that plate. <laughs> Don't say he's dead. <laughs> As he slams the blade into his shoulder and it digs in, the guard drops the weapon and like reaches up towards the blade. The demon holding the blade there as he goes to lift it up, the guard just like not letting go, just from just kind of freezing from the pain and like holding on to it. It dug in deep enough. You watch one of the hands slip off, and he's like trying to like push the guard away or the demon away. And as he goes to push him away, the demon just like reaches forward with his mouth and bites into his hand. And then the guard takes his hand from the blade and goes to like reach there. And then when he re reaches in further, the claw just comes up over to the neck and just Ooh. digs in. And then he just lets go of both. And you watch the guard crumple to the ground in a pile. Oh, of blood. there goes that keeper. Fuck, <laughs> dude. You had to say it. You jinxed him. Yeah. It happens every time. <laughs> I was gonna apologize to him for knocking the tree over too. It's okay, you don't have to. He was to the know. only witness. <laughs> <laughs> I swear the demon kind of helped John on that one. <laughs> all right. I know you guys saved uh, us at all, but Zarver actually got to go to prison, dude. You cut down that tree. <laughs> Andrew, you're up. I don't think you guys got that guy. I'm gonna be honest with you. Maybe I should kill him. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> run over here. I, I can't. Right. Actually, I can't see them. I'm gonna just kill this guy. Okay. So like you can most... still hear a little commotion in the distance over there. This man's cheating. Kind of here. muffled, but you can hear it. On a hit, deal max dice damage. On a hit. Better hit. Your card hits exactly how you want it. Want them? If you if your next attack hits with a card, it's a crit. <laughs> Eat my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, don't do it. Not worth it. We have lucky. It's max. You're right. You're max right, you're right, you're dice right. damage, right. and it's a crit. Twenty-seven. Yes. That would have hit if it was sharpshooter. Um, sad that Jerry told me not to. It's all his fault. Not worth it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Why I'm rolling. <laughs> Eight or ten. Four, Twenty-two. Four. 51. That was weak, honestly. For one of your 10 attacks. <laughs> Fuck. Kind of 
side. Oh, that's your, that was the other ace. There we go. Yeah, that was the last one. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, I still got six in this deck. Is anyone within, anyone within ten feet of him? Uh, Moldrag's kind of close. I'd say no, though. Very cool. So that one doesn't matter. Okay, the first two attacks that have the... All of them sharpshooter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Those two missed. Next two attacks. Full sharpshooter. I'll miss all my attacks this turn. You think I'm scared? Good turn for me there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I did, hey, I did 51 damage. Azrael, you're up. Andrew, are you moving? Uh, ye forwards. Uh -huh. 25. Trolling is in my way, push him over. With my fucking huge <laughs> biceps and strong yeah. calves. Uh, with the vision range. So, I'd say you can see like a good 20 to 30 feet. Ish. Um... The only reason you could see like more in this kind of vicinity is because you're you guys are pretty much at the edge of where the smoke is starting to dissipate the most. Like you were riding through it pretty good too, but there's uh, like this tree's on fire on the side, and that's what's kind of causing a bunch of smoke. There's like a brush pile over here that's on fire, causing a bunch of smoke, and then there's just more shit that's on fire further back. So like your visibility like within here is pretty good. It's just when it starts to get like around this tree and like back here that it gets a little foggy. This over here is also smoky as hell just because of the smoke coming this way from this tree. But like, once you're in, so this is all visible, but outside of that, like 20 to 30 feet is as best you could probably see. There's a good amount you can see this way too, just because of that tree falling down and like it pushing a bunch of shit out of the way. Um, but it's still like slowly kind of just lurking back in. Right. Uh, I'll just come this way then, that's what's going on over here. Okay. Um, I'll stop. Right about like here though. Alright. Um, help the horse or the deer off this guy. Alright. Just uh, roll a strength check. Wow, what a nice guy. Starbucks ran right past that guy like a fucking dickhead. It's crazy. Yeah, five. <laughs> five? Yeah. Okay. I was being guided you by otherworldly forces. Lean down, uh, Silmir, the uh, elven individual who you can see the age in. So it kind of really tells you just how old he really is. Um, Still in like decent shape though, and he doesn't look like he's like on death's door like he's just trying to like get out from underneath the deer You're pushing and he is too, and he's just uh, It's no use right now <laughs> He looks around You can see that's just like brief pause where he's trying to take in everything that's kind of occurring And then there's like this moment where it's kind of quiet and He just like looks over to you reaching his arm out and like grabbing at your hand Whatever it takes and the rest of the keepers need to protect Venore. I fear that this is not even the worst of it. And that's why we need your help. <laughs> <laughs> you, try, you try, and then as you're lifting and kind of trying your best to lift your arms up, and you hear in the distance after him saying that, this just like kind of like. Kind of echoes word. coming from that distance. Lately. You like turn and look back. <laughs> he looks over around. the same, you and you can see him still trying to like struggle to break free. Chaos warriors. Chelonia, you're up. Um. All right. Oh, you said it's coming from the, that back to the blade. Okay. Is that the gun? You said that noise is coming from this general area. Yeah. Great. Right. So. I am going to go back. No, I guess I was right here. I'm going to take the staff, and can I use two actions to turn it slowly? Or so my once bonus you action is yeah, well? once you lock it into one place, it's locked in until you kind of disable it, and then use an action again to do it. It's so I'm pretty sure you have two charges on it, right? Once cast, 
until duration, or until you grab the staff and end it as a bonus action. Right. So, so can you use his bonus use, action to end it, and then but, right, you can use your bonus action to end it, and then action to redo it. And it says here on a bonus action of each of your turns before the spell ends, you can change the direction in which line blasts from you. Right. That's just for the for the spell. Yeah, itself. it's a little different for the staff, just because the staff is the source of it. Like you're so I can't in hold it, control and, of it and turn it. I gotta no. stop it and then reset. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab the staff then. Okay, so as a bonus action, you can end it. Alright, and I've got... So I'm going to... i got one more charge on it, so I'm going to use it again to try to kind of clear out this smoke that's here. Okay. Let's see if we can get a, a line of sight on whatever's making that. And we see... Three million demons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you blast the uh, uh, wind in that direction, uh, go ahead and make a perception check. I'm scared. We're in danger. <laughs> I am in danger. Uh, perception is a tw I got a 20. 20? Okay. Um, I just want to be able to do this to where you just put the Kraken on the board, Billy. We all know he's here. <laughs> you just want to move, shift everything up. You said the Kraken. It back, but it's not going to matter that much. So you guys are just going to be at the edge here. 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 Like next to the tree, and then you were up a ways. You'd still be where you were. Oh, okay. ish. You're kind of like here. This can just move to like there. Go like. Well, Say there's good. These can move out of the way. Bro, oh, Jerry, you trying to slam your hand on attack, dude? What? No. Yeah, <laughs> just perfectly fucking just set up for you to fuck up and stab yourself. Let's see how that back here. <laughs> this. I'm just gonna go here, and then I can move all this shit out of the way. Oh, they're all dead. They're good guys. He's probably gonna show like a big tree here that's like got all the demons taken care of, and then we're good. Tree on, dude. No shot there'd be more demons. <sighs> yeah, no shot at all. There definitely weren't like a thousand of them ready to walk through the portal. So as you gust forward, and it kind of just pushes all of this smoke to the side, um, over to the left, when you're looking, you can see where those guards were and the demons kind of approached and popped in that um, they seem to be doing pretty well. There's like only one demon left kind of standing over in this direction. Um, but then you kind of push the smoke over to where you can't really see too much, if that makes sense. But as you start pushing that way, <clears throat> you see probably two or three more of the, uh, the demons. This guy's still alive, right? Yeah. Two or three more, or like three or so of those demons, these blood demons that are kind of over there as well. But you can see that they're not, uh, they're not just like charging forward. They're kind of like behind two other individuals you can see walking slowly and kind of more um, methodical, if you would. They have large kind of like tower shields, uh, very, very long white horns, brass armor that they're wearing. Uh, they still have the same kind of deep red skin. Uh, they don't appear to be like a full-on demon, though. Uh, they resemble more of like a tiefling, but like a very large kind of broad form of them. And they're not like charging through and like amped up or anything. They're just kind of like holding the shield, walking two of them side by side, just like looking around. And then as you push the wind through, you can see that they're kind of standing there with the shield up and the wind just kind of pushing. They just like lift their head up and look and then like lock eyes with you for a minute. You can see these deep, deep orangish red eyes that are staring back at you. They both kind of take their blades up and then point forward towards you. And you see those three that are kind of behind them turns into like four and like five and six as the other demons are starting to like slowly encroach and make their way through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those guys are cool as fuck. 
One of these losers. And as they <laughs> standing there, both of them pointing their blades forward, the demons behind them kind of like go on all fours almost, but it's more like one blade up, one hand on the ground, and like their legs charging forward, and they start barreling into your direction. With that, though, we're going to pick it up there next time. Thank you for watching. If you tuned in, make sure that you are following so you can put in for the giveaway. Um, also, subscribe. Uh, you can put in a giveaway for a custom mini, so that's pretty cool. Uh, our YouTube <laughs> has uh, VODs and stuff. Uh, this will be on there at some point as well, so make sure you catch up and keep current. Appreciate it. Take it easy.